In this lesson, we're going to be talking about masters versus publishing. So don't go anywhere and we'll be right back. All right, let's start with the masters. Your masters is simply the original sound recording of your song or, as I like to put it, the recording of the entire musical composition of your song. Whomever owns the masters gets the streaming royalties and record sales checks. Publishing. Your publishing rights, on the other hand, is the right to the musical composition, lyrics, and melody of a song. Whomever owns the publishing gets the performance rights royalties and mechanical royalties. Let's use some examples here. When you distribute your album through your digital distributor, whomever was listed as the owner of the masters will be the one to receive royalties from the streams and album sales. Should your record label own the masters, they will be the ones legally entitled to those royalties. Also, should you choose to re-record a song or album that your label owns the masters to, your new recording will be considered a cover. Unless you are real you are re-recording after a statute of limitation has passed on their and their on their ability to own that record. So there are laws that prohibit any label from owning your masters past a certain period of time if you own the publishing rights to that song or album. Again, meaning you own the musical composition, lyrics and melody of that song. In that case, there is a statute of limitation on how long the label can legally own the masters and be protected by law. If you are currently signed to a major label, I suggest you bring this up with your entertainment attorney and have them look into how long your label is allowed to own your masters. Again, this is if you own your publishing. An example of publishing royalties would be, say you go to a city, any city, state, or country, and perform live. After the promoter pays you for your performance, the venue will pay you or whomever owns the publishing rights as well. So, in conclusion, when music is consumed directly by the end user through streaming or digital download, whomever owns the masters gets paid. When a person or business generates any form of income off of the consumption of any musical composition or any of its form, be it lyrics, melody, or full recording, whomever owns the publishing rights gets paid. So that is it guys for the difference between masters and publishing. I hope this lesson was insightful. I can't wait to jump into the next topic, so stick around and I'll see you in the next video.